What'd you do Monday morning at quarter after two? Yeah, coffee in hand. It's actually 75 degrees right now. They said it was only going to cool down to 85 or 84. I don't know. It's still warm. Maybe we dodge a bullet. And they were wrong for today. I don't know. There's a slight breeze out of the west. It's going to be hot if there's a breeze. It should be out of the east. So, I mean, there's a, there's a chance that the weather guessers were wrong. I'm going to open the shop doors up. I hate to guess how hot it is in there. And uh, run down and turn the irrigation pump on. And I'm going to grab my headlamp out of the toolbox, too. This is the line is a little traveler. Your empty irrigation pipe and hot sun don't mix. They're all unhooked. So, go mess with that. And that would be the owl right over the top of my head. Even when you know what it is. Oh, God, it's warm in here. Even when you know what it is, I can scare the shit out of you. Yeah, maybe get somewhere on this. I mean, realistically, it's not that far to go. Get the lifters cleaned up and drop back in the hole. And then the head can go on and then we can empty most of that fender. Oh well. My trusty steed. Look at all the frickin' little bastards flying into it. Becky says, grab your headlight out of the shop for hooking that pipe back up. Yeah, that worked out good. I can keep the flashlight at arm's length and not get a face full. I already hooked it up, turned it on. Sprinkler started and then it quit. Anybody see an issue here? And that's full of water. This is the high end of it, the way the ground lays. So, yeah, taint the first time. Couldn't see it in the dark, so I had to actually shut everything off, come all the way down here. The other traveler was running. Just shut this one off so I could do this. It should be easier than hooking up all the rest of this, because most of these lines back to the pump, the way the ground sets between the couplers were all full. Yes, it's a wonderful morning so far. Actually, it ain't bad. It's comfortable out here. There's one of the babies. I don't know where the other two are. Mommy's just out the edge of the light up there, coming back a little. Two of the babies kind of hung together to begin with, so they're probably not too far away from this one, though. Oh, wait. I see another one closer. Right there. So I've accounted for two, watching really close coming through here so I don't run one over. A lot easier to see without the, oh there's the other one, okay all three are in a row. One, two, and three. And the bike died. My biggest thing is I want to make sure I don't run them little buggers over. And they really do stay out of the way for the most part as i say that and they're walking out toward the middle of the lane but there you have it i got both travelers running so yeah i'm whooped and it does actually feel good out here i really don't want to take my eyes off them little buggers But I still got things to do, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Kind of hard to see. But yeah, half of them are laying there. 
the other half are up here in the feed barn eating. And the other group there's a few laying here. The rest are at the end of where we were in that little traveler the first run below the barn. Well, most of the rest, I should say. I don't think it's all of them. Oh, well. I lost track of the little buggers, but Mommy and Daddy flew off. There they are. I thought that was one. Now, I'm going to uh, carefully sneak past them. Because, yeah, you know, they're cute little buggers. They really are. They're a neat looking bird and distinguished looking. You know, like a starling, she's eh. Robins, eh. You guys are right up there with hummingbirds. They're pretty. They're neat to watch. Kind of grainy, but it zoomed all the way in at uh, quarter to three in the morning. It's halfway up the lane, opposite side of where their nest was. But they're here. All three of them are. There's two you can see now. The third one I can hear. There's the third one. Right there. Oh, getting irrigation done. I'm watching out for these guys while I go through. Oh, shit. This morning. Well, it's still morning. Not even seven o'clock yet. The hook one came off. This time it was the T come off the elbow and put her clear back there. What the hell? I got that turned and I got the sprinkler to there. That's all the farther I'm going to go with it because it gets too steep for it. I just unhooked the bike and was going to get it out of the way and set it so when it comes around it doesn't plaster the hell out of the feed barn. And all of a sudden it quit. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm thinking, did we already pop the fuse? I hope not. I mean, I'm hoping to get some of this done before we have that issue. <sighs> Always fun moving full pipe. And I gotta let you go to hook it up. But, uh, oh, yay. Oh, and I was going to show you earlier, but I didn't. I got the lifters in the John Deere. Had some more cleaning up to do and got them in. Number one showed up right when I was coming down here. So I imagine she's feeding right now. And if it doesn't get too much hotter too quick, we might get the head on today. But I got my doubts about that, because it's getting freaking hot down here. Try to get you a little size comparison. Mommy's right here. Baby's dead center of the screen, and they're only about 10 feet apart. Babies are coming back go. to Mommy Come now. Here, babies. Come here. And for some stupid reason, my phone doesn't want to focus in. But all three babies are there. The last one's just ran to the right, out, out of the screen at the right. Top, right in the Babies top corner. Right and the other two are right there. They're in the middle. Side, but hello. I don't know what they got an issue with. They they don't stay that close together. Two of them stick together really close. The other one kind of hangs back a little. I think the one that hangs back a little was the last one born. The smallest of the two right here was the first one born, and I didn't think that one was going to make it. No. So Real, realistically, maybe it's two girls and one boy. I think it is. I think these two are females and that's the male. Come here, babies. Yeah. Well, it almost focused there for a second. Anyway. They're out here. They're safe. They were right on the edge of the shade when we came through the gate. That's just about in, so we're going to flip There's it around. Person, oh, hey. Yeah, if I can get it zoomed in to see. And have it actually show up yeah mommy and babies aren't that far apart basically all three babies are about the same size as mommy now all three together make one mommy 
Dad's over there by the elbow. Gonna jump over the pipe, run through the water, and say it still ain't focused north of the dam. Oh well. We're gonna uh, spin this thing around and run it over this way. And I don't know if we're gonna let it run any longer or not. It's already up into the 90s pretty good. And I don't want to pop another fuse. It just causes issues. So. I might get a good comparison again. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it'd be a great comparison if I could zoom in right and have it focus. Are you coming over to say hi, baby? Yeah, you are my little tiny tot. But they do look just exactly yeah. like mommy and daddy already. No babiness to them, just, just a mini version. And they talk just like mommy and daddy do. Yeah, see the one by himself here and the other two are hiding behind a pile of manure up there. Oh well, that's enough of the fuzzy screen in this. Actually, it's focusing on her. Ah! My fat ass. You heard her say it. That was her fat ass. Now you know. Oh, she mom, walks, you quit that shit. You know She better. walks on her hands. Oh, well, this thing's got like about another minute and a half, and it's all the way in, and we'll, we got to shut the water off to move it because it's got to spin all the way around. And I had issues earlier when I drug it out, and then it blew the elbow apart. It backlashed the hose pretty bad. We ended up dragging it about another 30 or 40 feet out to try to get it straightened out. That's the one bad thing about the little traveler. The big one, the hose is big enough that it doesn't do that. But one's still sitting by the manure pile. <laughs> and the other two are up next to <laughs> There you go. There's your comparison. Next to Mommy and Daddy. Eh, hard to see. Yeah. But you can see them. They're all there. <laughs> He's still but, sitting here like that. Oh. The one's still hiding by the manure pile. Totally oblivious. The mommy and Daddy are yelling at him and he don't okay. give a shit. Yeah, there's your four minutes oh, of cuteness. We're going to go play in the water? Maybe so, since we're still hiding in the shade. Yeah, they're going to go play in the water. Well, it's 11.30, Monday morning. They're all doing all right, chewing their cud, breathing. Don't see anybody laid out. This group's... Eh, look like there's still some in the other barn, but this group's here. The other group's out, and they're back by the waterfalls. Hiding back there in the trees. And I was hoping, keyword hoping, to let the water run a little longer. The little traveler's at the bottom of the hill right here, and it's got about another 60 feet to go, maybe 80 feet if that. Would have been there by noon, but it's 110 degrees, so I don't feel like changing fuses. I'll just shut it off, wait till. One, two, three o'clock in the morning, and hope to God that all those pipes in the bottom are still hooked together because I don't want to hook all them back up again. I don't like that. So, I'm going to call it the end of this video, probably. I'll uh, probably let you know in the title. That's kind of hot. What, uh, what we got to when I put it up this evening. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm sure you can't hear it in the background, but I can. There's sirens. The columns knocked down now, but apparently they got them a little fire. It is literally right straight through there. Uh, the last field we cut, we're number one cut, part of the bigger part of the field. It's about 500 feet from that field, 500 feet south of that by where the pin drop is on the map. I don't know where the fire exactly is. And, well, our volunteer district got ate up a few years ago. Twalton Valley Fire and Rescue has the whole thing now. And they did stupid things, which hurt them last year. It's going to hurt them again this year. Fire station's one mile from where I'm standing. We used to be out of that shed in two minutes flat, consistently, with all volunteers. The paid boys... Well, it takes him five minutes to get out the door most of the time, it seems. But, you know, who knows? Maybe they weren't there. I don't know. There used to be two engines, a brush rig, and a tanker there. Now, there's an engine and a brush rig. Why? Because they didn't want to have paid boys out here 
to sit on their butt all day with their finger up their butt so that there was someone there to mend the tanker or tender, whichever you want to call it. So the tender's coming for this. If you ever look on a map, one's coming from Sherwood, which is about 20 miles from the fire. The other one is coming from Wilsonville, which is, well, about 10 miles the other side of Sherwood. Instead of having one come from within four miles of the fire, because they can't leave it there, because they can't hire anybody to man it, because it doesn't pay to do that. So anyway, and with where it is, I'm surprised they didn't pull a tender out of Newburgh. Because Newburgh's ten miles from me that way. The fire's over there, right along the highway that goes straight to Newburgh. And TVF and R won't deal with the other districts in the county. Because there's a tender sitting ten miles that way. Actually, nine miles that way. Mm-hmm. Gaston Rural Fire Protection District is right there. They won't even talk to them about up here on the hill. So, this big stuff's BS, just saying. I just know there's still rigs showing up. And I think they got it knocked down. It sounds like it's all in some underbrush now. Hopefully they do, because it should have been going that direction, which we still got two hayfields right in the path of where it was going. 